In this video, I want to talk about the integrations that you'll find in the back end of SP Page Builder. I'm going to go ahead and click install the Joomla article integration and go ahead and enable it. What that's going to do is give me the option to use SP Page Builder in an article. The one reason I don't use this very often is because I can't do these really beautiful layouts because articles are generally limited in their width on the page and I can't override that. So let's go ahead and click article, add new article. And I'm still using the built-in WYSIWYG editor. Of course, you can use JCE. You have now a new button, Joomla editor and SP page builder. Ah, here's the trick. So this is my test article with SP page builder. I'm just going to leave it uncategorized and I'm just going to add some text in here and click save. And there's my text. If I click on SP Page Builder, well, there's nothing there. If I click back on Joomla Editor, it has saved the text that I have. Let's just go take a quick peek at that. I'm just going to quickly add it to a menu so we can find it. OK, hit refresh. And there's my article. There we are. So nothing fancy, typical article. This is what Helix Ultimate looks like as a template. Now, I can edit this from the front end, of course. But editing it from the front end doesn't give me SP Page Builder. So that's one thing to remember. The other thing to remember is, however I leave this article, whether on Joomla Editor or SP Page Builder, is how the article will be displayed. So now if I come over here and hit Cancel, there's my article. But now I have the ability to edit with SP Page Builder. This is terrific. Now I can do whatever I want. All right, so I'm just going to click on Blocks. And I'm going to grab a Contents block. Now you'll want to be careful here. Any block here that goes with a full width background doesn't work in an article. Because generally speaking, the content area in most templates doesn't go the full width of the page but you're safe to grab any of these ones without a background. So I'm going to add a new row, make it the full width, and I'm just going to drag this guy over, and there we are. So that's going to look just fine. If I come back over to here and grab a text block and drag that in, you'll see that again, it's going to be the full width now of my article area on my website. So it's really easy to build nice layouts even within the article manager. I can make, make that a little tighter, make that a little tighter. Of course, we're in an article, so that's probably going to work just fine. Add rows. Well, you get the idea. Let me click Save. And let's head out. Added a menu link to this article. And so here's the article now in my Joomla website, and I can edit it completely with SP Page Builder. I can even add slideshows to my articles. Just by dragging and dropping. Now, if I click Save here, again, this slideshow isn't going to be the full width of the site. It's going to be inside the article area. So you'll want to be careful about the different blocks that you might want to add and what you might want to do and how they'll be laid out because, again, it's in an article. For me, in my general purpose in using this particular feature of SP Page Builder, I stay away from these kinds of add-ons and stick with the ones that would look great in an article. Even image layouts looks really good inside an article. And of course, you have all the other options as well to add layouts, but again, I wouldn't suggest it inside an article but you do have the options to look at the sections and add-ons you've saved, to export even this page that's right within an article, and of course, empty the content. And you'll notice that the Add to Menu is gone because, again, we're not on an SP Page Builder page. We're in an article. All the other features work. So if I shrink that down to a phone or a tablet, you'll see that they are still nice and responsive. One other thing to note, this great integration works with K2 and SP Simple Portfolio. 
just as a reminder, anytime you use SP Page Builder in an article, it will not show up here inside the page list. Of course, it's an article, not a page. So once again, I use this a lot to add some flair to articles where I'm not trying to go full width with some of the fancier add-ons and blocks that SP Page Builder gives me. You'll want to experiment with some of those, but most of these, if not all of them, will work well within an article just by clicking, dragging, and dropping.